Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the December 12, 2016 meeting of the Board of Selectmen. Um, I'd like to have a motion, please, for the approval of the minutes to the regular board meetings of November 28, 2016. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. Uh, Mr. Mayor, do we have any public participation members? I do not believe so. Thank you very much. Let's move on to number three, presentation of actions. I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Mayo for the Traffic Advisory Committee recommendations. Okay, uh, we have two rep uh, recommendations from the Traffic Advisory Committee that we met on Tuesday, December 6th. And uh, the first um, item, and it's on your agenda tonight, regarding Audubon Road. Uh, we've had a number of meetings on Aub Audubon Road, and Audubon Road has really moved up in, in in status. We have a lot of new businesses there and they're doing quite well. Um, but what's happening down at the end of Waterbond Road is there are many, um, and I say many because there are many, tractor trailer trucks, cement trucks, and what have you that aren't doing business on Audubon Road that are <clears throat> idling and stopping and parking on Audubon Road, uh, many of which we believe are going to Market Street because they can't go up there and make their deliveries. This is causing a lot of problems for the businesses down there. Not only is it a safety issue because they do narrow the road and it makes it hard to pass and have sight lines, but they might sleep there, nap there, eat there, and then throw their wrappers and things out the window. So the Traffic Advisory Committee did meet with the uh, with three of the main tenants, our businesses down at the end, Xylocole, West Rock, and R.J. Kelly. And I'd say that all of them were in agreement, um, and the Traffic Advisory Committee was in agreement, that we should post Audubon Road um, as from Teal Road all the way down both sides of the cul-de-sac, that there's no standing, no parking, no idling. And that would be our recommendation there. Any discussion from the board? But it just doesn't, they are going to Market Street? We think many of them are. I mean, we don't, we're not following them, but that's a consensus. So they might be going to a job somewhere else too. But many of them are not businesses there. And it's causing a problem for everybody. I think you need a motion. Yep. Uh, with no further discussion, I need a motion on this. So moved. So moved by Phyllis. Second by Tony. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. Uh, the second item is that there is a recommendation that a stop sign be installed uh, along with a painted stop line on Center Street where it in intersects with Main Street. And you can think of this as between Alano's and, um, uh, is it a cut above? A cut yeah. there coming out and um, this has actually had a high accident count this uh, intersection you would think it wouldn't you think it would creep out because of what's happening so uh, what uh, uh, Lieutenant Scorey thinks who's our, who uh, me, uh, chairs the traffic advisory committee is that people really have an optical illusion that they're coming across Main Street and they're looking at Chestnut and they're just kind of focusing right and going right across and not looking. So we're hoping that this will stop some of this based on the high accident count. So a stop sign there, I think a lot of people stop anyway. I know I do, because I don't know how you get out without yeah. stopping. But, yeah. Yeah. but some aren't. Yeah, some aren't. <laughs> there was an accident a couple months yeah. ago that I knew the person. He was almost killed. Yeah. Was, yeah, so he was just driving down Main Street, and someone came right across. And they yeah, said they, there was no stop sign. Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong, but they yeah. almost killed him. So. 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 Yeah. We would appreciate a motion on that too. Um, I'll entertain a motion then. Moved in a stop sign to be erected at center in May. Second. Se moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Um, Oliver Street, discussion. Authorization of land to go out to bid. Uh, from Mr. Chairman, from time to time we get um, requests from citizens who want to buy lots. Or want to bid on lots, tax title property that you know is near their property. Uh, we did receive a letter, it's in your package, um, and I think you also have a copy of the plan mm -hmm. in your package. Um, what our procedure is that we go out to each department to see if each department has any issue, has any need for the land. I'll tell you that um, uh, some of them don't, town planner doesn't, uh, uh, building inspector doesn't, the um, DPW does have drainage um, in the in that area, and at, at the least of what we do, would like to maintain, uh, maintain an easement. If we were to ever sell it, we're not even talking about selling it. We're not selling it tonight. Um, and Conservation Commission would like to 
do an entire mapping of the town basically before we before we decide to do this uh, that's their recommendation as well I would recommend to this board that we go out for um, bid uh, to see what happens number one uh, we then we can come back and decide whether we want to sell this land or not um, I think at a minimum there should be no uh, no building on this area um, that we maintain uh, uh, that a sale is subject to a drainage easement for the future if we ever needed it. Um, and uh, Selectman Dinoco had a, talking to me, had a caveat I wanted to add as well. You want to do that now? Yeah. Um, and my only concern right now, seeing that the parcel is 2.72 acres of land right now, I wouldn't want the additional area, land area, to be interpreted as, as increasing the overall developable amount of the land by adding those two small lots. So and if we do grant this in the future, I would like the square footage area excluded from any further build out of the 2.72 acres. So if they can build 40 mm -hmm. units by right on the 2.72, I don't want them to try to do what Brightview did when they bought the extra property and added an increase of additional units on the small parcel. So that would be my only um, addition that I would ask that we consider if we go down that road. Well, that piece of land is not large enough for a building. No, but if you combine it to the 2.72 acres that the, he already owns, right. it could increase how many units could be built on that property. Right. Okay. I do, I understand that and I understand the person that's interested in that. Mm -hmm. And I think the letter that he sent clearly states he's not interested in adding, you know, making an addition to it. it. The only thing he's interested in is having that land. He does a lot of farming yep, and, it's not, and it's good. And uh, he guarantees there would be no building, there would be no harm to the land. And that uh, um, I don't know about the, I'm sure he would agree to that. I don't know about the drainage, but I'm sure we could ask him about that. And so I, I think it's a good idea for us to send that land out to bid. Excellent. It, it, it would, do you want to make that in, uh, in the form of a motion, folks? Yes. Okay, do I have a second on that? Second. Second. So we have okay. a motion to send the uh, parcel out for bid? With Steve's. With, with Steve's. Three caveats? Yes, three yes. caveats. Yes. Right. Yes. What are all the caveats at? Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to item number uh, 3C. Please. Uh, we have a request from Mary Ann Cohen <clears throat> to place a manure on the upper common by the fire pit area as described in the um, material that she submitted. Do we have any discussion from the members of the board? I think it's a nice idea as long as the dimensions seem to be fine and other towns have done it. Mm -hmm. I think it yeah, we we had. Uh, Dennis Fazio, check that out. Perfect. No, we have a Christmas tree. Why wouldn't we have a menorah? I, I think it's a great idea, personally, especially if they're going to be put, to putting it up and taking it down. So, Would this be something we vote on every year? Would this just be a blanket? So she could do it every we, year? I think every year. Would Beautiful. Be yeah. Perfect. Do we vote on the Christmas tree every year? <coughs> we don't. That's a, that's before my time. <laughs> I just want to be fair. And I, 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 I agree. I mean, we have, if we're going to do this, let's make it fair. It's okay yeah. by me. <laughs> I mean, if I, 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 I don't see an issue with it. No, and if we do have an issue, we can bring it back sure. to That's right. I, I think it's better off that so way. So I move that, that we honor um, Marianne's request to place a manure on the upper column by the fire pit. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the notice of termination of lease with Alano's with the... 12 to 14 parking spaces behind his property. Um, he has submitted the um, proper paperwork to um, nullify the lease between the town and himself, effective June 1st? July 1. July 1, thank you. Um, and this would, would just be a discussion, wouldn't be a vote, would it? Well, I, I guess we're we're under the uh, lease. Uh, I think this is a valid notice of termination. It's more making you aware of that. <laughs> right, but that's, that, but that's okay. Yeah. Just a okay. So it's just a notice for us at this point. Any uh, discussion on that item? It's pretty straightforward. Very good. 
Let's move on to um, the next item. Uh, at this point, we're going to uh, jump over to um, item F, please, and move forward on the Highland Ave certification to the assessors. This is for the betterment, Steve? This is for the betterment, yes. Uh, as the board knows that every time there is a betterment uh, that is approved by town meeting, um, then there is an assessment to the property owners, because we really, although we, we vote on a certain amount, we never really know how much it's gonna be. Uh, this betterment has been, or the improvements have been completed. Uh, it's a total of $36,378. Um, the each uh, property owner is being assessed um, equally. Uh, they can either do it by frontage or by or, or equally portions. They've uh, decided to go equally, and we need that approved by the uh, town so we can actually start taxing them and getting the money back on the betterment. <laughs> So we need a vote, a vote to, to approve. We need a motion to approve the certification to the assessors for the elements to the properties. So, so moved. moved. So moved. Seconded. Second. Seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Uh, we have a request from Sharon Gilley, director of the Lucian D. D. Memorial Library, to accept and expend a gift or gift to the library in the amount of $785 from various donors with thanks. So moved. Second. Moved, moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Stinson, mm. could you please? Mm. This is the discussion now on the MWRA water contract. Mm -hmm. And then the motion will be to have Steve sign it at the end. Um, I'm just going to say that this is a, a um, standard contract. The last one was signed, what, 10 years ago, Rick? 10 years ago. 10 years ago. It's basically the same. It allows us to um, participate, continue to participate in the MWRA program, which is a pretty good thing because that's where our sewage goes. <laughs> <laughs> it, also, it also allows us a couple of things in here. Number one is that uh, if we do have a, um, a high-use water business that comes in the town that we can uh, do that and work with them on that and um, it also <coughs> talks about uh, uh, making sure that we do go forward and do try to protect that watershed around Crystal Lake mm -hmm. by 2018 Rick coming forward with a uh, yeah. an article at town meeting and also working with Stoneham and, and Rick and I have been in contact with Stoneham uh, over the years about protecting that watershed because part of that watershed is in stone. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if Rick has anything to add. Yeah, just one, the dates in here have changed. Um, they had some dates that went back. Um, because we've been working on this contract for over a year without a contract. So the new dates on page two at the bottom, uh, July 1, 2017, or I'm sorry, January 1, 2017, to December 31st, 2000, uh, or 2026. Any questions from the members of the board? Good. Looks good. Looks good. May I have a um, motion then to have uh, Mr. Mayo sign the uh, contract between the MWRA and the town as presented and amended by Mr. Stinson. And have Mr. Stinson sign it as well. And have Mr. Stinson sign it. <laughs> so moved. Second. All in favor? Thank you very much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so let's go into our licenses. I do want to just you know, you need that. call them up. Okay. Um, item number f uh, 4A, uh, change of manager for Water Street Liquors, Inc. May I have um, those who need to be at the table come forward? Good evening, Mr. Chair. Good evening. My name is Karen Simeo. I'm with uh, McDermott, Quilty, and Miller at uh, 28 State Street in Boston. Um, with me, I have Ms. Ulrich, who is the proposed manager of record uh, for this location. Um, as is set out in the application, Ms. Ulrich has been at the store for over 20 years. She's a key employee. She's there at least 50% of the time and is very familiar with the rules and regulations of both this board and the State Alcoholic Beverages Control Commission and um, is here to ask to be put on as manager of record this evening. Do we have questions from the 
Mr. Mayor? No? No? Very good. And I'll uh, entertain a motion then to um, approve the transfer of the manager to Jean Ulrich. Yes. Um, as presented. So moved. Uh, second? Second. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Thank you for your business. Thank you. Good luck. How do you want to handle the list? Um, do you want me to read them? <clears throat> oh, I'll you. read them and then you can vote them as a slate. Well, well, okay, that's okay. Yeah. okay. Very good. Can we do that? Yep. Let's start with. Yes, I'm right. So, uh, licenses and permits. The next uh, item on the agenda is common victuals license as presented. Okay, I will I will read the list that's in your packet for the people at home. Next Dine, LLC at Converse, Artichokes, Aubon Goat Restaurant, Bamboo House, Bellino's, Billy's Famous Roast Beef and Seafood, Pink, <laughs> Blue Moon Grill, Brothers Deli and Restaurant, Cafe Italia, Karen's Restaurant, China Eatery Restaurant, Chai <coughs> Thai Bistros, Chibo Cafe, Circle K, which is Subway, Clarion Inn, Hobbs Brook Management, which is 101 Edgewater, also 201 Edgewater, and... 500 Edgewater, Cravings, Creations, Dino's Brick Oven Pizza, Dockside, Dunkin' Donuts, we have three, 225 North Ave, 518 Salem, 632 Main, From Maggio Pizzeria, Gingerbread Construction, Greenwood House of Pizza, Harrington's, Heavenly Licks, Hobbsbrook <coughs> Management, again at 401 and at 601 and at 701 on Edgewater, Honeydew Donuts, 142 Lowell Street, Honeydew Donuts, 386 Main Street, Honeydew Donuts, 912 Main Street, Indian Flames, Inc., Jade Garden, Jade Gourmet Restaurant, Kippo's Roast Beef, Laurie's 909, Raw Bar and Steakhouse, Lisa's Family Pizzeria, McDonald's, Massimo's Restaurant, Melathar Bank, Mola Bakery, Cafe, Moreno's, Cucina, Rustica, My Brother's Place, Oye's, uh, Inc., New Salem Street Diner, Nick's Pizza, Nono's Pizzeria, North Ave Diner, Omelette Headquarters, Fouquet, Pit Stop, Pizza Express, Portobello Inc., Red Sugar Cafe, Rooster Thai and Convenience, Sabatino's, Sakura, Sabar, Schoolhouse Pizza, Sheridan Colonial Bar and Grill, Slice Pizza, and more. Sunny Noto, Subway, <coughs> Wakefield House of Pizza, Zuzu's Cafe. Did I miss any of them? <laughs> Cherry? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, Mr. Mayor has just presented the entire slate. Uh, do we have any questions from the board? Uh, Clarion Inn, are they doing business at the lakeside? Uh, they may be, but their but their oh. application may still okay. be under that. Any further? Uh, entertain a motion then to uh, vote the, uh, the slate on the common dictator license. So moved. So moved. Second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. And just so this is subject to the Board of Health and the Building Inspector doing the thing. Um, every year. Thank you. The next item on this is the restaurant all alcohol liquor licenses. Yes, I'll read the slate too. Artichokes, Bamboo House, Bellinos, Brothers, Cafe Italia, Karen's, Dockside, Harrington's, Indian Flames, Inc., Laurie's 909, Oye's Inc., Portobello, Sabatino, Sabar, Socorro Inc., and The Porch. Any discussion from Did I get all those? And they're all good, Sherry, right? They're all <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. <laughs> did well. Discussion? Hearing none, uh, do I have a motion, please? So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Inholder, all alcohol liquor licenses. This one's a little bit easier. <laughs> Clarion Inn and Sheridan Hotel. <laughs> uh, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Discussion? Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, club, all alcohol liquor license. Uh, Crystal Community Club, Wakefield Knights of Columbus, and Westside Social Club. Yeah. Motion, please. So moved. Second. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Restaurant, beer and wine, liquor licenses. Phuket, Sunny Notos, Massimo's, and Chibo. Standing motion? So, so moved. Second. Moved and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, lodging House. Uh, package store. Package, package store, store, I'm sorry. Package store. See, I missed um, I, I will um, ask Tom Mullen to comment on one of them. We go through um, Council Mullen. Caporels, Two Liquors Inc., Greenwood Wine and Spirits, KVP Inc., DM Liquors, Water Street Liquors Inc. The, uh, the Water Street Liquors Inc. would include a renewal of the manager who was just approved. Sure. Okay. okay. 
So that'll be the manager then, the one that we mm -hmm. just approved tonight. Okay. So as amended then? No, no. he just, okay. he just, okay. just okay. clarified. Um, any questions from the board? On uh, motion, please. So, so moved. Move. So moved, seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Right. Thank you very much. Next one is lodging houses. Lodging house, Clarion Inn, Sheridan Colonial, and Wakefield Manor. <clears throat> motion, please. So moved. So moved. Seconded. Second. Second. All in favor, aye. aye. Thank you very much. Uh, entertainment licenses. Aye. Entertainment, okay. Artichokes, Bamboo House, Bellinos, Brothers, Cafe Italia, Karen's, Chibos, Clarion Inn, Dunkin' Donuts, Famacio, Harrington's, Indian Flames, Laurie's 909, Massimo's, uh, Mola, Oys, Fouquet, Portobello, Sabatino, Socorro, Sabar, Sheridan, Sunny Notice, Rooster, Thai, and Convenience. Aubon, Gout Restaurant. Make so, a motion. Yeah. So moved. Motion, seconded. No discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Fortune teller? Well, they should be able to know whether you're going to do that. That's absolutely. Psychic <laughs> reading at 391 8th Street. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent point. Yeah. A motion, please. Move. Move. Second. Second. That's All in good. favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> um, automated <laughs> devices. Automated <laughs> devices. Crystal Community Club, Crystal uh, Laundromat, Dockside, Wakefield Boulder Grown, Westside Social Club. So Second. Second. Moved, seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Class one dealer license. <laughs> Class one. Okay. 128 Sales Inc., EMS Direct LLC, Liberty Chevrolet, Liberty Azuzu, Liberty Mazda, Subaru of Wakefield. So moved. Moved, seconded. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Class two deal. Class right? two. This is a long one. Okay. AC Auto, Allstate Truck, Auto Annex, Auto Authentic. That's a good one. Auto Authentic Auto Sales. <laughs> Bay State Fuel, Brandon Auto Sales, Broadway Auto Brokers, Capital Construction Equipment Sales, Custom Transportation, Inc., Dick's Foreign Car Service, EMS Direct, LLC, Fahey's Auto Sales, Phil House Towing, Inc., J&A Auto Body, John's Foreign Car Service, Inc., King's Auto Wholesale, l l Classic Cars, Liberty Chevrolet, Liberty Motor Car, McNeil's Auto Repair, Main Street Auto Sales, Inc., Marquis Motors, Martin Collision Center, Inc., Northeast Auto Gallery, Inc., Platinum Car Center, Inc., p &L Automotive, Performance of Wakefield, Precision Auto Works, Inc., Quality Auto Service, <coughs> RSC Global Holdings, LLC, Reynolds Auto Sales, Select Enterprises, Subaru of Wakefield, <coughs> Tetch's Collision and Frame Corp., Tim's Transport, Diagnostic Motor Vehicle, Vintage Automotive, Wakefield Auto Gallery, Inc., Wakefield Auto Repair, Wakefield Auto Sales, Wakefield Auto Sales of Main Street, Inc., Wakefield Collision Center, Inc., Wakefield Gas, WW Industries. <coughs> Motion, please. So moved. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Steve, just for clarification, a lot of these don't have cars. A lot of them don't have this leg, like yes. The, no, it's, it's exactly. And, and I do, Mr. Chairman, if I can say, yes. um, Sherry does an incredible amount of work on these licenses and uh, managing them, managing the people to come in and fill it out correctly to, um, uh, you know, we do have a bylaw that requires people to get uh, fingerprinted, making sure that happens, and the police did a great job in working on that. But Sherry really bears the brunt, and I refer all calls to her. In fact, they come in, they don't even want to give me their application <laughs> if she happens to be away from her desk for a minute. So thank you for all your hard work. Thank you, Sherry. Thank, thank you, Sherry. Yeah. Were they all set? Did I get them all right? You did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to move on. Okay. Um, personnel and appointments. Uh, we have um, an appointment to the Commission on Disabilities, uh, Gregory S. Powers, 12 Thorndike Road. May I have a motion, please? I move that we accept Greg Powers' uh, Powers. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, appointment to the Bylaw Review Committee, Keith LaGraves, 20 West Park Drive, and Michelle D. Lisiati, 24 Garden Lane. So I make a motion, we accept them. Second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. Now let's uh, move into, um, we have a Main Street presentation. I'd like to ask Mr. Ross to the chair. Uh, in the audience, we have um, Bob DeBella from the Savings Bank and Jeff Cooks from 
the library. Uh, they were directorship uh, as well. If you want to sit in Jeff Keo, in uh, on the corner behind <laughs> Tom, um, want to sit back there or you want to come up to the front? Whichever one you prefer. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. You gonna leave John all alone? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. John, Chairman, the floor is yours. Thank you. Madam Woman of the Select Board. Um, Wakefield Main Streets has uh, an opportunity to do some fundraising. And in doing so, um, we're seeking the support of the town. And at the same time, we wanted to give you a brief overview of, of Main Streets and, and what we're doing, if, if I could. So Main Streets, um, in a nutshell. We want to focus um, on the town center and as a place for people to work, shop, and spend time with each other. Um, we want to bring resources to the town that help it keep what it has as well as augment the things that we need. And again, awareness um, from town management and the broader community so that we can all work together uh, and be successful in the downtown area. An executive summary, we were incorporated as a 501c3 in June of 2014. Our mission statement is Wakefield Main Streets works to establish and promote downtown Wakefield as a vibrant, inviting destination by fostering historic preservation, economic renewal, and community involvement. Our vision statement is revitalizing downtown together. Our directorship is comprised of a 12-member board. Um, Paul Donaco is president, Bob Malloy, vice president, Robert DeBella, who is uh, present this evening as treasurer, Jeff Klapes, also present tonight, as secretary and the directors, as you see, Lawrence Andrews, Shannon Arnold, Cara Cohen, Glenn Dahlbear, Ann Hadley, Jeff Keough, myself, and Susan Whatmore. Some things that we've accomplished since 2014. Um, most recently, we've sponsored the purchase of four self-watering plants in the downtown on the pump outs that you see on Main Street. Uh, we've participated in the market assessment and the business, business district composition analysis um, that was just done for the town of Wakefield. We've conducted um, several focus groups, both at the farmer's market and uh, at Festival Italia in the downtown, as well as um, other focus groups back in October of 2014. We've also um, consulted with Jen Wallace, who's the executive director of Beverly Main Streets. Lately, you might have seen in the Wakefield item our small business spotlight. Um, that was, again, to highlight downtown businesses and uh, generate support for them in our community. As well as uh, most directors attended the, um, the Arts Car to kick off meeting. I think that's a, a great thing and we're all excited about that. Besides this crowdfunding grant that we're um, going to be going for, in 2017 we hope to initiate a facade improvement grant, continue to sponsor the planters that are in the downtown area, we want to continue collaborating with the town and the Chamber of Commerce on site improvement program and other downtown improvement mechanisms. We have uh, started and hope to continue a collaboration with the Sheridan to bring people from the hotel into the downtown. <coughs> Social media, we believe in getting the word out and improving um, the knowledge that the initiatives that we're doing as well as Gardner feedback from those in town. Volunteers are key to our effort and we'll be doing uh, a drive and an outreach program to um, 
members of the community. And again, this crowdfunding grant that, that we're going for right now. So again, that's why we're in front of you this evening. Um, we began seeking input in some of our um, forums, um, seeking input, and um, we basically asked two main questions, and we got over 150 responses. And those two questions were, what do you love about the downtown, or in the downtown of Wakefield, and what would you like to see more of? So over that 150 um, answers, we kind of garnished um, a general theme, if you will, of a starting point. And in that starting point, um, <clears throat> there was a need to aid the ambiance in the downtown, as well as um, have sidewalk benches. The whole idea of staying, feeling comfortable, and then wayfinding or signage. Um, we've talked a lot in town, um, both as a town as well as several groups of how do we take the resources of the commuter rail and the lake and all those people that are coming into town and bring them into the downtown. Um, several community groups inside of Main Street programs, as well as over the 150 responses that we got were, let's direct people downtown. So as a part of this crowdfunding grant, um, we hope to have a sign, signage or a wayfinding component. So with that, since August of this year, uh, we've been working with um, Patronicity, um, who does crowdfunding uh, online. So much like um, a lot of the online funding movement right now where you can donate anywhere from five dollars or fifty cents to thousands of dollars. Um, Patronicity works with Mass Development, um, the state's economic development and financing arm. And uh, they have a, a program called Commonwealth Places. And Commonwealth Places um, has a has a matching grant program up to fifty thousand dollars, and um, Wakefield Main Streets wanted to go for a forty thousand dollar grant, of which in total <coughs> we'd raise twenty thousand, and uh, the Commonwealth Places Mass Development um, would match that twenty thousand um, dollars for a forty thousand dollars in total. And again, that's for um, tree lighting in the downtown, sidewalk benches, as well as signage. So we hope to kick that off this fall. We don't have a lot more time left, but it may be um, as early as January. But you know, we're hoping that we have a successful fundraiser. Uh, we get a great grant match, and we can raise forty thousand dollars, and in turn, um, work with the town and other members of the community to work on the tree lighting and the signage and the park benches. That is all. Yeah, any, any, any questions? questions from the bo uh, board? Phyllis. Uh, yeah, this sort of um, has been, been a problem for me. You consider downtown Main Street that it starts like near the uh, World War II or Salem Street, Main Street, and it stops at North Ave. It, what about the rest of Main Street that goes into Greenwood? I feel like all of the rest of Main Street is neglected. <clears throat> Why doesn't anybody care about all of downtown Wakefield going into Greenwood? You know, it, it, this has been something that's bothered me for a long time. Everything is done in this one certain area. Why can't it continue? You know, we have a wonderful Greenwood area and we have to fight to get money. I have to go, we have to borrow money from banks to do something for down there. Why can't that go all the way down into Greenwood? 
There's no reason that it can't. Main Streets is a, it's a national program. And when you set up a Main Streets organization, they first say start small. So you take an area, Selectman Hall, and you first try to revitalize that. And, and we all know how, how hard and how long it takes to revitalize uh, a community, especially uh, a small area. So I would anticipate that as we have successes in what is now from Salem Street to um, the end of... Uh, uh, to North Ave. Well, not that is included. I, don't, it I know not so that it's, it's, it's Albion Street. Albion Street. I'm talking about Main Street. It's Albion Street uh, to Main Street, and then it's Salem Street all the way down Main Street um, into, the, into the junction. So, you know, that's a starting point. You know, sometimes if, if you make your project too big, uh, it becomes less successful. Uh, it becomes diluted. Um, where if you make uh, an initial impact in a smaller area, that does and will branch out to Greenwood. We, we care very much, I think, well, I hope that, about Wakefield as a whole. I hope that is true because I really, the people in Greenwood, I talk to a lot of them. I, uh, you know, they feel like they're a neglected group down there. That whatever goes on, and I've been watching it myself for the past few years. It seems like everything is in this one area. And if you say it, it takes time, I suppose that's true. But I, I certainly hope that you will take that into consideration in order to let the rest of Main Street feel like they're part of this town. I, I think I. I hear what Phyllis is saying, I agree with what you said, John. I think, you know, as the downtown goes, so goes Greenwood. If we can build up the downtown, if we can bring this program here and develop downtown, then we have more resources and we can stretch that to Greenwood. I think going too big at first would be a problem, so I, this idea is a good idea. I also think it's a great opportunity to consolidate some of our smaller groups that are working sometimes together, sometimes beside each other, crisscrossing. Um, so to have this group as the, as the focus to really, you know, I love the idea of lights all the year at night. It's in, you want to walk down. It, it's, um, it makes the town look pretty. So this is great. Fabulous. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. I actually had the chance to sit in a meeting a couple of weeks ago with uh, Stephen, the municipal light department, the DPW, and there are plans to have those trees illuminated downtown year round. And uh, <coughs> from what I saw, it's really promising. Secondly, if you do put benches downtown, the only thing I ask is that they have the divider in the middle for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and the last thing is, is the lake. We have to figure out a way to link the lake to downtown. I mean, weekend after weekend in the summertime, we have thousands of people that come down and walk the lake, whether it's for a fundraiser or just you know, <coughs> enjoying the lake. How do we bring them downtown? How do we bring them that three or 400 yards from the lake downtown to those restaurant and shops? And you know, I'll be slamming my head up against the table trying to figure that out for years. And, but you know, I'd love to work with you guys sometime and figure out a plan to do that. Thank, but thank you for your presentation as well. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. yeah, the presentation was great. John, um, I know you guys are working very hard at, at doing the whole Main Street. And, um, and I think the concentration business-wise is probably probably 75% of something downtown. The Main Street downtown that's uh, running from the Salem, you know, up to uh, the north. But, um, yeah, no, I think this is a good start. Also, the matching funds, if you can raise 20, getting 40, that's fabulous. Um, and, uh, yeah, anything we can do to help you. Um, let us know. Um, lights year round would be great. I think Phyllis has brought that up before too about even the, the Christmas lights or holiday lights, um, both actually. And uh, year round lights, white lights would be great. Um, so that's a, that's a good start there. So I think it's a great great group and I think it's uh, growing and I think you'll do a good job with that 40,000 too. So anything we can do to help, that's important for us. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, overall, the Main Streets organization, when it first started, we wanted to incorporate the entire length of Main Street. The national program told us no. they didn't want us to go take too big of a bump. Mm -hmm. So they said, deal with downtown profit. Deal with your first commercial district and expand on that first. 
So we started from Salem Street and we stop at Franklin Street. That's the district that we have and it includes Albion Street. We, we said stop there before going further, make your improvements there, show the town that it's worthwhile to invest in the programs and then bring in. I applaud your efforts to bring Greenwood in, Phyllis. You're doing a great job of that. Maybe the town can work alongside of the Main Street organization and try to bring in small, some of the smaller components, like the flower uh, pots, maybe some lighting down there, maybe new poles that we can get the light department to help us do, and make the improvements down there that match and reflect what's going on downtown. But it's going, our area was one, it was dictated to us by the national program. Um, I believe this is a, a, it's a good first step. It matches what Peg Berenger uh, said to us. It matches what um, Amanda uh, came up with the Colorado program. Um, we've been working on this a little bit longer to gather the information, and it just happens to be the same information <laughs> that everyone else has been talking about. The benches that, that we're proposing are only four foot in length. So there won't be a need to put a divider in it. Um, they're not going with the street. They're actually going power, um, not power. Perpendicular. Perpendicular, <laughs> perpendicular to the street. Um, the kiosks are a great uh, component. We're proposing the train station, Albion Street, and uh, the lake area near Salem, correct? Um, and we are working on a component of how to bring the people from the lake downtown as well too but that would have to be a program that we really want to launch so we're we'll working on that and maybe we can have you sit in because I, I know to i know that you are an active runner so <laughs> it would work right up your alley um do we have any further questions from the board no okay. anything um what we are seeking from you right now in order for us to move forward <coughs> with patronicity they need ver a verbal letter or not verbal a written letter from this board that they support the project that we presented uh, or we can't move forward with mm -hmm. the grant. Um, so um, I need a motion then from the board to um, vote to uh, support the project and a letter to be drafted for us to send in to patronicity. So I moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, <laughs> thank you very much. Good luck. Thanks, Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank That's you, great. Gentlemen. Thank you all. Um, did the appointments? Comments. Comments. Uh, let's start with Phyllis. Going around the table for comments. Oh, yeah. I want to make yes. I want to talk about the um, cutting the ribbon. Uh, down at the new dog park. Yes. <laughs> I want to thank Mr. May for doing that, which yes. was really fantastic it was a great thing to do and there were lots of people there and no matter how cold it was it was great <laughs> and i would like to throw this out so many people liked it and there were so many people there with dogs um maybe it's just a suggestion maybe somebody listening and watching us would consider donating a bench down there because people like to go and sit I mean, the town has done a lot. We've done everything I did. But maybe people listening to me <laughs> and like dogs might consider getting a pinch and bringing it down there so someone could sit down while they were, like they do up at the, up at the <clears throat> World War II Memorial. Mm -hmm. So that, those are my comments for tonight. Thank you, Phyllis. <laughs> I like that idea. Um, yeah. No, we the puck's already dropped and it's kickoff almost time, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, uh, I want to congratulate my good friend Perry Pappas on becoming the Division Two Coach of the Year for Wakefield Track and Field, and I just like to thank uh, the voters of Wakefield for putting me here. Yeah, thank you very much, and have a great holiday season, folks. Mr. May. Well, I have to uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, I have to concur with Phyllis. Thank you very much, Phyllis, for coming down. And um, I think um, the dog park's going to be wonderful. Um, I want to thank the Board of Selectmen for voting on it um, and passing it on 10-12, having it open on 12-10. Mm. So less than two months, no red tape, no fuss. Everyone's excited. 
Um, it was a great time, but <coughs> also Stephen Mayo, our mm -hmm. town administrator, for riding around with me and putting up with my comments about <laughs> things and uh, helping me find that town-owned property that uh, didn't cost us anything but a, a few landscaping and a few mm -hmm. uh, tweaks in the fencing. Um, a special thank you to Rick Stinson, too. Uh, did a great job, uh, especially allowing Dennis Fazio, who really did the, the heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. He did a fabulous job. Uh, don't tell him I said that, but Dennis Fazio did a great job. And all the workers, all the DPWs and workers that actually were there uh, lending a hand. Um, that project went well, um, uh, under budget, I would say, and uh, also um, Father Coughlin for showing up as well, and, uh, uh, helping us kick it off. That's and all the people awesome. that came down, but use it, take care of it. Yeah. And the benches, Phyllis, excellent point. Yep. Yeah. There's two sections sure up there. I we'll, would like to do that. We will get some print. benches. We have a soft opening on 1210, but hopefully in April we'll have a hard opening, so to speak, and uh, we can um, uh, find some monies. There's also some grant monies that we're looking into. Um, believe it or not, someone died and left, I think, about $20 million across the country for dog parks, so we're looking into some monies that will help. I know, dogs. Not cats, yeah. just the dogs. No, Sorry. that's fine. I'm a dog <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but the dog person. But but I think there's money there as well. So uh, if someone that's wants great. to donate benches, that's great, um, fabulous. I'm not sure if it's tax deductible. Maybe. <laughs> it's got to be. Um, that's really it for me. But thank you very much. Enjoy the park. It's uh, it's a great asset to the town. And uh, make sure you open the gate, close the gate behind you before mm -hmm. you open the next gate. Just use the two gates properly. And it'll be a safe place, too. But uh, that's it for me. Thank you, Ms. May. Mr. Mullen. Yes, donations to the town of Wakefield are tax deductible. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Yeah, Mr. You. Mayo. Um, at, at the risk of getting a uh, very nasty email from this gentleman tomorrow morning, um, I do think it's uh, very important that uh, this board recognize that um, one of Wakefield's greatest friends, and I know he's a personal friend to me, a personal friend to a lot of people here, um, is going to be celebrating his retirement at the Savings Bank show. I know he's a great friend of yours, Phyllis. Brian McCubrey, so I'll take the hit for this because he doesn't want any fanfare. We've already talked about it, but really a uh, friend to the town. I uh, can remember in some very early years, a few years ago, when we were in really tough shape, I put a call into Brian and he would help out with things quietly behind the scenes. And I know that he won't be. Uh, won't be leaving, but um, he's going to start another chapter in his life. So I do want to congratulate him on a long run at the Savings Bank and a great friend. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, sir. It's a big loss for Wakefield, actually. Yeah. Yes. Mr. DeBella has pictures. So. <clears throat> and I'm sure he will, but Brian has been quiet, no agenda, no <clears throat> ego. What he's done for this town has gone unnoticed yeah. oftentimes, but it's tremendous. Yes. Bob's a local boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right, quiet giant. So um, for myself, I want to thank, uh, for the entire year, I want to thank the uh, DPW for all their assistance uh, throughout the year for the activities which I am part of, uh, the fire department, the police department, this board for putting up with me. Um, I do need to um, thank the uh, MLD for uh, the addition of an extra light pole on Common Street. It did wonders for making a very dark area safe. Um, so I, I appreciate the efforts of the uh, light department of getting that done as quickly as they did as well. Um, I want to wish uh, the board a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, and to the entire community uh, as well. Um, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. And with no further ado, I'll uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Moved and seconded. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.